pretty beaten up. He was bleeding from his head. I mean, it was bad. But first this now, deputy in distress. Look, tonight, a nasty crash sends an L.A. County Sheriff's deputy to the hospital. That violent broadside crash was caught on camera. KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen live at the L.A. County Sheriff's Department in Lancaster with a closer look at this heart-stopping video. Jeff? Well, you know, that deputy was heading to a call on what's known as a code three, which means it was running with full lights and sirens when it got into a chain reaction crash. Dash cam video shows this car with a white hood coming to a stop in Lancaster when an LA County Sheriff's Patrol car enters the intersection. Then a full size pickup truck broadsides the black and white unit. The collision turned into a chain reaction crash, sending the patrol car into two other vehicles. Noemi Martel was a passenger in one of them. Um, well, I was at a red light. Um... All the cops, all the cars had stopped because the cop car had his sirens on. He was ready to go, um, and that's when the truck came in full speed. Didn't see the cop car. Neither one stopped, and he uh, T-boned the cop, and uh, the cop swerved and hit us. The crash happened at Sierra Highway and Avenue K this afternoon. It's unclear why the driver of the truck didn't stop like everyone else at the intersection. Lieutenant Paul Bartlett says the patrol car was running code three, which means its lights and sirens were on. The crash is a reminder for all of us to be careful on the road. Just be aware of your surroundings and, and slow down a little bit. The driver of the pickup suffered minor injuries and the people in the two other cars were okay. As for the deputy, he suffered a cut to his forehead, so he was taken to Antelope Valley Hospital. Um, oh, he looked pretty beaten up. He was bleeding from his head. He's doing good. He's uh, got some minor bumps and bruises. I'm sure he'll be sore tomorrow. So the, the lieutenant says that this appears to be an unfortunate accident, so he does not expect anyone to be cited. As for the deputy, he will likely be released from the hospital soon. We are live in Lancaster. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.